All right, well, we are going to do our segment called This Time Tomorrow. And so the point of why we do these segments periodically throughout the year is because we want everybody to realize that your work matters. What you do at your job Monday through Friday or Monday through Saturday, some of you are like, I work Sunday through Sunday. Whatever your job is, it matters to the kingdom of God, and it matters to the world that you live in. And so we want to periodically take out people from our our fellowship here and interview them and see what they do and to ask them how they're able to make their Sunday worship connect with their Monday work. Does that make sense? Y'all with me? So today we have Bianca Flood. So can we welcome her up here? So thank you for being willing to come here and to be interviewed. And so just to ask you a few questions, what will you be doing this time tomorrow at 1019 a.m.? At 1019 Tomorrow, I'll be working at Starbucks. I'm a barista, so I make drinks. I greet customers. Sometimes I'm working in the drive-thru, making lattes. <laughs> um, sometimes I do customer service, collecting trash, sweeping the floor. So I do a little bit of everything. So basically, you, give, you have to work with all of us very uh, bougie Starbucks customers, right? where we have our <laughs> orders that are sophisticated. When my wife started going there, I didn't realize, I had to learn a whole new language to go to Starbucks. Caramel macchiato, what is that? Uh, chai tea, all these things. And then, like, but Starbucks, you guys make us act like that. You guys realize that? Because the first time I ever went there, I said, can I have a small coffee? And they said, you mean a tall? Yeah. And I was I don't care what you call it, I just want the smallest one you got. <laughs> and then it's grande, venti, so. But you have to do a lot of work. I see you guys and all the jobs that you guys have to be able to maneuver and to do. So uh, you do a lot of things each and every single day, engaging the customers and serving them. So how do you remind yourself that everything you do at Starbucks is work for the Lord? Um, well, I remind myself by, I have the Bible app on my phone. So every morning I get a message that has a Bible verse. So I try to start my day in the morning with the verse. And I say it three times, and then go through my morning routine, you know, getting the kids ready if, um, if I get up at that time. And um, I go in the car, and on my radio is a satellite channel of worship music. So that's another way of reminding myself of who I am, I lift my spirits, and uh, just kind of encourages me throughout my day. And I also ask God um, for consistency and a desire for him. So through the consistency, for the desire through him, he reminds me also that I'm here to do his work, which is spreading the good news also. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that. And I think it's the importance that you bring out as a challenge for each of us is to start our day with God first and not waiting until we're there in the midst of things, in the midst of chaos to try to figure it out. So thank you for sharing that. So how does your job enhance and bring value to God's creation? My job enhances, I'd say, in bringing value to God's creation by knowing that I take part in the daily bread, which is providing meals and food for people, even though they're paying for it, it's still a way of providing for them. Um, also, um, work, life, and culture reflects the beauty of his creation as well. And um, work is rooted in God's creation and it also reflects his glory, so. Yep, amen. And so I think, you hit a key part there is as you do your job, you're realizing it's for others, that you're there to serve others and to make their world a better place. Even as something as simple as making their drink properly and correctly, the satisfaction and the joy they get to have them go about their day is enhancing and making the world a better place. And so that's good. Thank you. Here's the next question. How does your job advance the kingdom of God? I believe my God, my job, my God, <laughs> I believe my job advances the kingdom of God. Um, I would say by bringing different people together, b different cultures, different beliefs, and under one establishment, they're all there for the same thing, which is to drink coffee or to have a drink. Some people are there for work, um, to have conference meetings and so forth. Um, and I realize I'm an image bearer of God, so I try to remember that. And, and with Colossians 3.23, 24 says is whatever you do work heartily as for the Lord and not for men you are serving the Lord so that is another thing that when I have difficult days I have difficult days too but I have to ask God for me to uh, renew my mind and to remember that I'm not there for just them but I'm there for him and he's working through me to help serve others so, amen yeah. 
Thank you for sharing that. That's awesome. And here's the last question. What opportunities has God given you to share the gospel and minister to other people through your job at Starbucks? That's a good one. Um, by my, the way I carry myself, um, some of the coworkers may ask questions about their own personal lives or um, customers come in and, and they're maybe feeling defeated. So sometimes helping a word of encouragement, giving them something as simple as a compliment on their parents or just trying to make feel like their drink nice. That's another way. Um, other people are like, oh, you always keep a smile on your face. You seem so busy, but you always seem happy. And I always give praise to God and tell them that it is not me. It is him. <laughs> It's him that gives me the patience. It is him that gives me all the energy to make it throughout the day. And, and that's one way that I um, remind people that, um, that I'm there for God and, and reminding them of, of why I'm here and who I am. Yeah, that's awesome. And that's a great reminder of what Jesus says where he says, Let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. And so is anybody else in, the, in our here today that works in the food service industry. If you do, would you be able to stand up for us? Because we want to recognize you and the work that you do. Anybody else that works in the food service industry? So there we go. We got some up there. I see you up in the balcony and I see you over here. Awesome. Awesome. And we want you to know your work matters. What you do every day, the stuff that you sit back and go, man, sometimes this can be a burden, sometimes this can wear me. You are making the world a better place by your job, and we thank you for being a part of that. And it's sitting back realizing everything that you do for those customers to serve them, to love them, is exactly an example of what God has done to love us and to serve us. So thank you guys for your service. I want to have a word of prayer for Bianca and for those that stood. Would you guys bow your heads with me as we do that? Father God, we thank you for what you're doing in the life of Bianca and for those that stood, Father God. Father, we recognize that everything that we do here on this earth can be done for your glory and for your honor. And everything can be a testimony of the work of grace that you've done in our hearts. And Father God, as they go out and as they serve these customers and as they work through all the, the pros and the cons that those jobs bring, Father, but as they keep their mind that they are to serve you, that they are to love people the way that you love them, Father, they can see a difference that they're making in your world, your creation, and your kingdom, and that they could see lives change as they have conversations with their coworkers, as they have the conversations with their customers, Father God. We pray that you would allow there to be gospel conversations where people would hear the good news and respond to that in faith, Father God, and thank you for these faithful individuals who have committed to their jobs to do it with excellence, to do it so that you would be pleased with them, Father God, and thank you for all that they do for your kingdom and for your honor and glory. Amen. So thank you, Bianca, for coming up and sharing your heart with us.